Some of the people who live in Sunset Cliffs are calling attention to what they say is a dangerous intersection. Just this week, a lifeguard truck was involved in a rollover crash at the intersection of Point Loma Avenue and Santa Barbara Street. News 8's Abby Alford is live at the four-way stop that's been a concern with what the city says can be done. Abby? Barbara Lee and Carlo, yes, we are here at this intersection along Point Loma Avenue and Santa Barbara Streets. And despite the stop sign that you see right behind me and the three others here at this corner, the neighbors say that there have been crashes, near misses, and police have even been out here to ticket. Car after car after car. If you stand out here long enough, you'll see people just roll through the intersection. See like that car. Sunset Cliffs neighbor Jill Johnson says this is tame at the intersection of the four way stop sign at Point Loma Avenue in Santa Barbara, where she lives on the corner in Sunset Cliffs. It's a daily honking, screeching, people screaming at each other. In the past 16 months, Jill says that there's been at least three major crashes, including Mondays involving an overturned lifeguard vehicle. She says she ran to help and spoke to an officer about wanting a traffic light. He told me that the neighbors would never tolerate it, that it would back up traffic. So on Monday, Jill posed her concern on next door and now has more than 108 comments, some calling it clueless. They can't even get a stop sign on their street. One doesn't see a problem, but many were in support of some type of safety measure like speed bumps. Well, the only thing that somebody suggested that I thought might help is if it was a flashing sign. There are 25 mile per hour speed limit signs posted, cautionary four way stop signs, and then on the way down after Santa Barbara, there's a radar speed limit sign. Last December, a car flew down Point Loma and hit parked cars. Uh, we've had police officers sit across the street several occasions, and I didn't call them. We reached out to the city who acknowledged the four way stop. A spokesperson says, in part, the city will evaluate what more can be done to make this intersection safer and prevent collisions, including installing increased signage indicating a stop ahead. I'm hoping some Something can be done before somebody gets killed. The city says that you can request a traffic safety measure. Just go to their website or on the Get It Done app. Just go to thecwsandiego.com and click on the hot button. Barbara Lee. All right, Abby, thank you.